Thanks very much, Mick. You know, John, it wasn't a championship, but it's a nice win to end the season. Club ties the all-time school record for most wins in a season. It's the end of the season. How do you feel right now? I feel pretty happy. Thanksgiving turkey is going to taste real good today. Um, Coach Katz from Johnson and I go way back, so I got some bragging rights. And 9-2 uh, and two ties the school record for wins. And the other thing is, it's the first time in five years the Spotswood teams ended the season with a victory, so it feels real good. You started today's game direct snap on play number one to Nelson Stryker. Kind of set the tone for today's game. Yeah, well, you know, we got to get Nelly the ball, you know, 15 to 25 times a game, depending on how it's going. I have a pretty good quarterback in Danny Osofsky, and he can, you know, get the ball out there too, throwing it. But Nelly definitely set the tone all year, and whenever he goes over 100 yards, we win. And then on the second play of the game, he goes in from 38 yards out. So less than a minute into today's game, you've got a 7 nothing lead. The offense played well. Your defense... They gave up some yardage. Johnson, if they didn't turn the ball over today, could have been a different different ball game. Oh, yeah, we could have been in a battle. I don't think we forced Johnson to punt in the first half. Um, luckily, we did get some key turnovers. They were hurting us with our option. Uh, and it just seemed every time we were in man defense, they caught us with the option. And, uh, you know, we got out of that a little bit, went back to zone, and uh, the kids played real well. It's the last game of the season. It's always tough to say goodbye to the seniors. And mm -hmm. this has been the best senior class ever for Spotswood in the last three years at 22, 8, and 1. Yeah. So they go out on a pretty good note. Uh, they go out on a great note. Uh, first playoff win since 1980 with the overtime victory over Delaware Valley. Uh, our offense is the only offense to score two touchdowns against New Brunswick's first team defense. So, and Nelson had both of those. I'm very proud of the kids. It is real tough because this is my first recruiting class. I've been there four years. These are the first freshmen I brought in, and I have nine. 19 of them still with me. But one of the things you say about it, having a big class, you said you started off with about 33 kids year one. You're up to over 100. So this program, you're going to lose some seniors, but it's a developing program. Kids oh, want to yeah. come out and play. Oh, yeah. No, without a doubt. You know, we get a, this year we had a lot of first-year players come out. Uh, success breeds that type of uh, attitude in our, in, you know, with our program. And, you know, we'll have 100 kids next year also. So... It's only looking good. What can you say about your coaching staff as well? you got your brother Joe on the staff. You have the guy coming up running the defense from Virginia. Yeah. What's this all about? Uh, you know, we've been together four years. We're, we're a close-knit group. Um, you know, you have to be. With football, you know, other like, unlike other sports, we're together 24-7. And, uh, you know, Coach Wells from Virginia stays at my house when he comes up, so we're really together. But, uh, you know, it, it, it couldn't have been any sweeter, you know, having my brother on the staff. Coach Jeff Lawton from Neptune, we played high school ball together, and Coach Wells and I have known each other for eight years, and the rest of the guys just do a tremendous job. I, I couldn't do it without it. It's a full team effort. Listening into the speech as your team was being talked to by the coaches at the end of the game, one of the coaches said to everybody, he said, all right, seniors, you're gone, but all the underclassmen, it's up to you now to take the torch. Oh, absolutely. You know, I don't know if you heard what I said to the kids. I said, Monday we collect equipment, Tuesday starts the next season. So, you know, and the seniors are right. They're passing the torch on to those guys, and we do have 24, 25 juniors, so they should step up and be ready to go. Congratulations on the win. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, thank you, and happy Thanksgiving to all. All right, that's John Fiore, the head coach of Spotswood. His team comes away with a 31-15 win.